Tell us a little bit about your first impression of this place, the Kloster Gravenhaus, the Kunsthaus. You know, but staying here, being in the former monastery, feeling the ambience, feeling the whole energy that this place radiates, it's really changed my perception in many ways because at the beginning I didn't really have a plan of what to do here. Yeah, and your work is very universal, but also have a personal starting point. Uh, my brother passed away last year. His name is Chidebere. You know, Chidebere is an Igbo name. Uh, translated to English, it basically means uh, God is merciful. It's also this process that keeps every day is a new day. It's an ongoing process. You know, most times you feel very good, but inside not, not really, you know. So it's been a personal thing going on for a while. And I know music was really one of the places where I sought solace in. And um, when I say this, you know, when I tell people what kind of music I was really listening throughout this period, it, they, they sometimes don't make that connection. I was actually playing a lot of uh, DMX. It's an American rapper. Mm -hmm. There are so many emotions that you go through when you are grieving. You know, sometimes you're angry, sad, even happiness. You know, sometimes you remember a, a beautiful memory, you smile, you know. So I sort of knew at the back of my head that, um, you know, music could be uh, an avenue for me to explore this situation or to, you know, deal with this situation.
records here. You have been, been uh, creating quite uh, traditional songs. You did make some rearrangements of pieces dealing with mourning and grief. Yeah. Could you please tell us a little, little bit about this uh, process? How did it work? Um, so, yeah, uh, in the Blue Room, <laughs> you're going to find um, uh, a six-channel installation of an Igbo choir. These folk songs have been existing for a very long period, you know. But what, we, what I did was, in my research stage, I, you know, there are so many folk songs out there, but I was looking for those that specifically spoke to uh, how I was feeling my experiences this period and stuff like that. So I selected uh, four Igbo folk songs dealing with grief and mourning to lead um, the inspiration for making this uh, project. So these four songs, one is tied to Dibé, Ndidikama. So basically Dibé is like a patient, you know, a patient is, is, uh, is, is better. I mean, I will, I will break them down. Then the second one is Onwe uh, Maraburego. That's an Igbo translated in English. It means uh, that you should have taken money and left my brother, you know. Then the third one is Onwe uh, Nyori. It means death, you a thief. And the fourth one is Ayana Chongwan Nai, I'm looking for my brother, you know. So breaking them down, uh, Dibe, Dibe, um, the Igbos are, you know, we're very, we're very communal uh, tribe, you know, we have very close relations, um, immediate family and extended family. So when someone dies, it's really very impactful and um, uh, it's, there's a very deep sense of loss. So like that song called Dibe, Dibe, Ndidikama, came from that um, situation where uh, grief and mourning is uh, felt to be like a, a communal thing. You know, the Igbos have found a way to personify or they've personified death in their folk uh, uh, stories and songs. And, um, um, uh, when you have a situation where that sort of is unexpected, you know, it's kind of made uh, like connected to the behavior of a thief. A thief is not expected at night, you know, you don't know when they're coming, it just, it just happens. So you have a song that addresses that, that sees death personified as a thief, Onwe And then there's Onwe uh, Maraburego, which means uh, that you should have taken money. You know, death is this supernatural force that there's no negotiation, there's no uh, bribery. You know, it comes, it uh, has no sentiments, it takes what it wants and then it's out. I think this song reflects that whole piece, like trying to acknowledge that death cannot be negotiated, cannot be bribed, you know. So, Onwe Maraburego, death, you should have taken money and left my brother, that kind of situation. In actual one night, it reflects on um, the, the void that occurs when death happens. You know, someone is gone, it's gone permanently. There is no um, return. So Ayin Achoman Nai means we're looking for our brother, we're looking for our sister. You know, it's just that irreparable feeling that this void can never be filled and you're always looking for this lost uh, uh, sibling that is gone forever. So these are four um, folk songs that I that kind of reflected um, or like I, I, you know, I chose to be the starting point because I felt uh, they reflected the situation or they talked about this whole situation of mourning of, of grief that I'm feeling at that moment. And I worked with um, two um, composers in Nigeria, uh, Jude Wankwa and Uche Amoebulen, who we now recreated, re rearranged this piece. So they don't sound like what, uh, I mean, they're not this, exactly the same with what, um, when we see original, what does, I don't know how original a folk song can be, because over time, over centuries, they would have been modified. But this is not the typical, you know, the way they were, they are being sung or arranged. We, we completely rearranged it just for this project, yeah. And then we have two more rooms. Yeah. And now we are here in the red and, and yellow yeah. Yeah. room, and we had the choir there, and here in this room we have um, two voices. Yeah. They, they sing solo. Yeah. Overlapping. Yeah. Uh, what is the idea of our second uh, huge hall? So I mean, this is uh, actually this is the biggest hall, and this is probably the hall everyone will come into first before accessing the other spaces. Um, what you're going to hear in this hall uh, is a duet, uh, a male and female voice performing the, uh, the track called Chidiabere. You know, this was uh, 
where I kind of spend more time. I wanted this composition to reflect that feeling. So coming into the main hall, you're going to hear this Chidebere piece, and that is actually the first song on the vinyl after the intro. So this is that piece that is that requiem that is performed for Chidebere, my brother, or for any other person that will make connection to it. It becomes your access point into the project, into the installation. So this is the first thing you bump into when you come in for the uh, installation. I call it uh, when time stood still. It's that moment where everything is kind of blurry for you when you know you you are processing this death. Everything slows down. Time slows down. You know, you could be in a. I mean, like in the movies where someone is maybe in a club with all the music banging, but suddenly everything just kind of stops for this person. So that is that piece. But what I found interesting uh, for we Igbos, we have this saying. Um, uh, translated in English, it means uh, the wooden gong beats for the warrior two times when he's born and when, he's, when, he, when he dies. What summary of this work is uh, we Igbos are very, very much into music. Music is a part of the Igbo culture and it's uh, from the cradle to the, bra uh, to the grave. There's music for every point or every aspect of anything going on for the Igbos. When a child is born, there's a music for that. There's a composition or a folk song for that. When a child is being uh, baptized or given a name or circumcised, there's also a music for that. Throughout all our process, all the stages of life, there's music for that. So we Igbos fully embrace music as part of our culture, and that's what I try to do with this installation here.
but, but also you haven't created an overall album. Yeah. Do you want to go into it? Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I start with the, the whole process of um, trying to install this piece because for me, um, this is an experiment that I've not done before. From the start, I wanted this to be installed. I wanted it to also be a multi-room installation because when we talk about grief and mourning, uh, I, I want it to be like a, a communal situation. I don't want it, you know, in as much as it's, a, it's, a, it's an individualistic, it's an individual experience, but, you know, um, uh, when it comes to grief and mourning, there's a community. People have, uh, I think everyone has lost a dear one. People have, people make connection to this. Everyone has been in that situation where you have to grieve or mourn. So I wanted it to be something that is open to people. I want it to be installed, accessible to multiple people at the same time, but at the same time, you can also have your individual experience. Mm -hmm. So this is how we put this together, but the summary of it all is this vinyl or this album, which is also called Chidebere, which we have uh, the music in it. So this will be um, different tracks, but the thing is like you get the full experience by experiencing the installation. You know, not everything on the installation will make it to the vinyl or made it to the vinyl because, for example, the flute piece is a 21 minute piece. That is just one side of the vinyl, so that was shortened. So yes, there's a summary of um, this project as a vinyl piece. Yeah.